When you paint with the wet on dry brush, it will look like a wet brush painting on paper. It's wet and slightly viscous. You will feel the viscousness. There are many styles for you to use. Look, do you see that it's slightly viscous? And by the edge, the color is slightly darker. It's obvious when you use some brushes. See, it's darker by the edge. You can choose this one. I often use this brush. When it meets other colors, it will blend in together. It's a brush that can be used for both dry and wet styles. For the wet style, you blend the color in with other colors, something like this. For the dry style, you just dab it. If we want to blend the colors, we don't put weight when we paint it. The color that we paint will blend in with other colors. See? It's another brush set that I like. Other brush groups play with more weight when we paint. They are the brushes and the wet on dry set where the color depends on the weight. If we lightly touch the screen, it will be a normal color. When we press the pen slightly, the color fades out. When we lift the pen slightly, the color is back. This is a simulation of using a wet paintbrush on paper and pressing it. Because it's watercolor, the nature of watercolor is that when we press the paintbrush, the color is faded. You can play with how much weight you use. This is a brush that I use for drawing a leaf, a petal, or something like that. See? Or you can draw something like the sea or seaweed. This brush is suitable for these. Let me show you. Press, then let go. It fades out. Press your hand, then let go. You can play with the weight. It's another brush that is fun to play with. The next one is a brush that follows the weight of your hand, but the color is clearer. It plays with the hand weight too, but the color is clearer. There are many styles for you to choose from. In this brush, the color is darker and the tip is pointed. You can choose if you want a dark color or a light color, something like this. It's like if we want to draw a leaf with one brush or an abstract of watercolor. See? Just one swipe and we've got a leaf. The next brush group that I'm proud to present. Let me erase this first. It's the water tank brush group. I'm not sure if any of you used to play with the paintbrush that can fill water in the brush handle. If we press the handle, the water will drip from the brush. Also this one, we only touch it. When we press, there is water coming out from the brush. It's fun. Quickly paint it or it can be used to paint the background. Something like this. It's very fun, it will leave a blot. The next ones are similar but have a different brush tip. Some are pointed tips.
for this one, I like to use it for painting a leaf or painting something like a watercolor abstract. To paint a leaf, it looks like this. If you like simple watercolor, this brush is really good. It can be used to paint a flower or a leaf. Paint the shape of the outline first, then press the pen without lifting your hand. It will look like this. It's like the water is connected. It's very good. This one is a different brush tip. This one is a multicolor brush. It is two colors in one brush green and this red color. This Freya Wet on Dry 18 brush will have two colors mixed for us. We can play with it. We don't need to add more colors later. We can choose the colors and they're mixed for us. The way to choose the color is let's say we change green to purple. And the other color we want is beige. When we paint, the colors are mixed between beige and purple that we have just chosen. If I don't press the pen, the color will turn out slightly yellow, beige. When I press the pen, it will turn out purple. It will automatically change the color. It's very good. <laughs> I created it myself and I'm very proud that I thought of this. <laughs> then it's a faded color. If you're used to painting with watercolor, you know that if we paint watercolor with a lot of water and leave it on the paper like this, it will blot like this. It's kind of realistic. It will blot. You can use it for the background. To do something like this, like a random painting, and then leave it, it will turn out like a color blot. Okay, let's check out the next brush set. <laughs> 